Hello everybody, it's the Royal Queen Alchemy and I am here with Virgo's um, April spiritual message. This is for Virgo Sun Moon Rising in Venus. Um, if you need to contact me for a reading or for anything, um, my, my information will be down below. If you want a personal reading, my information is down below. This will now resonate for everybody. I suggest um, if you don't know what your, uh, what your birth chart is, to go to Google and look that up and watch your moon, your Venus, and your ascendant uh, messages as well. Okay? All right, let's see. Virgo. I see the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's see what's up with Virgo. Virgo, something right. Okay. Chariot. <clears throat> Virgo, something right in Venus. Okay. Oh, tower. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Virgo, something right in Venus. Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> That kind of, well, I'm gonna take it. That's the four cups. And then let's get one more card for my Virgo, please. Get one more card. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Virgo, what does Virgo need to know? Ooh, how many is, oh Lord. Okay, so that's the page of swords at the bottom. Nine of Pentacles, the two of cups, and the three of wands. All right, I'm taking, this is a lot of cards, Virgo, but I'm gonna take it. Clarify this tower card. Clarify this tower card. Clarify this tower. What is this tower on me? Clarify this tower card. Okay. Uh, okay. Clarify this knight of pentacles. Clarify this knight of pentacles. Oh, okay. Clarify this four cups. Clarify this four cups, please. <clears throat> Clarify this four cups. Clarify this four cups. What's going on with Virgo? So I'm arriving in Venus. What is this four cups for them? Thank you. Clarify this nine of pentacles, please. Thank you. There's two cards. Yep. Take me. Um, clarify this two of cups. Ooh, I like it. Especially, I like the end, Virgo. Clarify this two of cups. Clarify this two of cups, please. Clarify this two of cups. Thank you. Oh, uh, uh-huh. Clarify this three of wands. Clarify this three of wands, please. Clarify this three of wands. Thank you. Increase support. All right, let's just do, let's do this deck. I like to go deeper into the energy, deeper into the messages for like the monthly readings. So I'm using the card, obviously. All right, let's clarify the cherry card in itself. That's a lot. What is this? I'm attacking y'all. I'm finishing for now. I'm finishing for now. I'm finishing for now. It rocks. Clarify this tower in this self. I mean, <laughs> clarify this tower in this stress reduction card. Oops. 
God, dog, y'all got a lot of cards. Oh my goodness. Yeah, y'all reading is gonna be long. Just like I think Taurus, their their reading was pretty long. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Taurus. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles and busy times and multitasking. All right, Virgo. Oh, y'all got a lot. Y'all got a lot going on. Clarify this Four of Cups in the spiritual or religious community. Thank you. Clarify this Nine of Pentacles. This on your divine power in this uh, multifaceted card. Nine of Pentacles on your divine power and multifaceted. Nine of Pentacles on your divine power, multifaceted. Nine of Pentacles. Thank you. Clarify this Two of Cups in this unconditionality card. What is this Two of Cups in this? Thank you. Oh, card. Three of Wands and increased support. Oops. All right. Gee whiz, man. All right, y'all got a lot of cards. Virgo. Y'all got a lot of cards. Okay. So let's pull a Goddess Guidance Oracle card. <clears throat> This reading can also resonate for someone in your energy, Virgo. I just felt the need to tell y'all. So it doesn't have to necessarily be, you know, this you. This could be somebody in your energy, okay? You understand? Give me a card for Virgo, Sun, Rising, and Venus for April 2020. What do they need to know as far as guidance? Give me a card for Virgo. Oh, my eye is itching. Give me a card for Virgo. Thank you. Sources. You're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Yes, Virgo. A lot of you guys definitely have the gift of alchemy, but you just don't use it or you don't use it in the right way. You use it like more so like with control. But just think if you would use for some of you guys, that might only resonate for one person. But work within your power, Virgo. That's going to be, I feel like, the theme, one of the things for themes for the month. Um... For April for you guys. Cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. I'm taking this card to Virgo as you, like you know, you guys need to um put yourself first. You know what I'm saying? Focus on you. I feel like a lot of you guys put other people first. And by you being so focused outwardly, like you may miss some, some signs, whether it's spiritual signs or physical, you know, um, within your body because you're not paying attention because you're so focused on so many other things and you're not focused on you. So you're not in tune. Okay? So you need to get in tune. And with this being like purple, I would also think this has to do with, I feel like this has to do with the crown chakra as well. Okay? Okay, so for those Virgos that meditate, do some crown chakra meditation, okay? And if you can't do it for a long time, just do it for like five minutes, five, ten minutes. All right, Virgo, we have the Page of Swords. Some of you guys could have Libra, Aquarius, Gemini in your chart. Or if you're dealing with an air sign or someone who comes off like that, right? This is some of you guys taking direction, like cutting through whatever barriers or blockages have been there. This is like you guys cutting through that. It could, like some of you guys definitely have air in your chart, but this is you cutting straight. This is also you being more, um, um, <clears throat> because I, you see how I was kind of doing that in the beginning of the video and I was almost starting to say some of you guys need to do some throat chakra work, but I feel like it's gonna be an activation of your throat chakra for some of you guys, right? So I feel like your communication is gonna be more cut like straight cut, like straight to it, you know? If some of you guys, you know, if some of you guys, I'm not saying you guys lie or nothing like that. I'm just saying if some of you guys like have issues with communication, put it like that, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a change in that, okay? A chariot card, moving forward. Move, move, some of you guys are moving more into higher consciousness, you know what I mean? Some of you guys are doing shadow work. Some of you guys are balancing your higher, your lower selves, doing that type of work. But somebody, somebody could be moving towards a cancer. Or some of you guys have cancer on your chart. Okay. So for some Virgos, 
this is you allowing or kind of putting the wheels in motion when it comes to a tower moment, like something that needs to end in your life. Because you see everything you need to see, you know everything you need to know. And you develop, uh, uh, bleh, excuse me, tongue tied. And a lot of you guys have developed a lot of confidence. Some of you guys have been working on your solar plexus or you had activation there, or you just, I don't know, you know, whatever it is. Um, either this is your current energy or this is what you need to be in right here. Self-confidence, right? Being able to move on with um, confidence, you know, knowing that you have everything that you need for whatever it is for you, right? Unfinished symphony, time for a nap, co-create. So some of you guys, okay, with this 10 and unfinished symphony, right? Okay. This is, <laughs> okay. Going back to this original energy, when I say some of you guys, whether you cancer or have cancer in your chart or not, moving towards this tower moment, right? And there's a situation Whatever it is, be it a relationship, be it like whatever it is, you know, a relationship with not just a romantic partner, but anyone in your life, um, a job, something like that, right? There's something that you have been intuitively knowing for a long time as far as needing to end something, this tower moment. And you've had several tower moments in this situation, right? Whatever this is, family, it could be extended family, it could be a relationship, uh, anything, okay? Don't just focus, just sometimes we just see love. But it could be anything, right? Some of you guys, there is a completion coming. And you guys, I don't think y'all really want it, but you know, like your higher selves know. Your higher self know. Some of you guys need more rest. This is going to help balance you. Two plus four is six, yeah. So you need balance, right? This is definitely higher consciousness, higher, higher. This is a higher spiritual. This, this is you guys. Some of you guys going through a spiritual ascension or may getting ready to go into one. You understand? And I think you're going to have a lot of downloads, a lot of um, spiritual knowing when you're asleep. Like you're a lot of a lot of things are gonna to come to you. Some of you guys may have a spirit animal of a fox, a leopard, or owl. Yep. Okay. Oh wow, I didn't even see this at first, Virgo. We got three owls. So y'all know we show y'all my owl weird. But um with the owl, this is coming from an energy of um, a lot of wisdom being gained. A lot of some of you guys definitely have some crown chakras. Um can y'all please take her in the room? Uh, there. Kim said to take her in the room earlier. Okay, but anywho. Um, this is crown chakra. This is you guys really waking up. Like, for real. This is the activation. Probably some of you guys have activation coming or in or, or in it. Where you guys are getting ready to have all your chakras activated. Period. Some of you guys, you have some um, some some collaborations coming up. Whatever collaborations is for you, if you're a content creator, um, if you have a business, whatever it is, there's getting ready to be some collaborations, some teaming up, some some team building that's coming up for some of you guys, right? Or that's what you want. Okay, tower stress reduction, deep knowing. To be fair, all right, so. Like I was saying, there's some Virgos who you are ready for this tower moment. You know that it's been a long, it's, it's been, it's, it's, yeah, it needs, it needs to happen. Could have to do with a Taurus or a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, you know that when this tower moment hits, it's going to take a lot of stress off of you. Right. This is a deep knowing. We have to be fair and we have yeah, we have deep knowing and to be fair. Yeah, definitely some of you guys are definitely going through a spiritual awakening. 
Three hours. Three hours, Virgo. Oh, yeah. Okay, so for some of you guys, you have a calling on your life to be like, I want to say a spiritual guru, but like more broader than that. Like something like, less broad. Like something less broad. Let me see. Um, Like a life coach, but like you, you'll be using um, your spiritual knowledge, like your spiritual who you are after you go through. Maybe some of you guys got another ascension you go through after this. And then there's going to be, yeah, there's a lot of wisdom that's getting ready to pour in for you guys. A lot of information, a lot of downloads. Just a lot. And for some of you guys, like I was saying, this is going to happen when you're asleep. Because I feel like you'll be too distracted if you was up. If you was getting these downloads, you still wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? So you, they, they're doing this while you're asleep. To be fair, so there's a situation, whatever it is to you, relationship, business, whatever, you know, family, where you have been, okay, 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 so for some of you guys, it's like being confused, being in limbo, not knowing, it's like part, like some of you guys are like, okay, I know this, I can give you like 10 reasons why this situation needs to end. But then it's like, it's like a little mustard seed of hope that you still have for the situation, right? So you want to be fair. You want everything to be fair and balanced for you and another person or you and another situation, business, whatever it is. But you know you have to be careful because you know, or maybe you don't know this, okay? So this may come later on where you know that one situation could be detriment to you in some kind of way. But then you have this fortune cookie on the other scale, right? So some of you guys could be Libras or have Libras in your chart. Uh-huh. Or have Libras in your chart or this other person is a Libra, ascended, whatever. Son. Yeah, you know you're going to have to call on your ancestors, your spirit guides, whoever you deem is your higher source, the divine, the universe, whoever, however. And you're going to really be attuned. Like you're just going to pay. Like for some of you guys, you're going to be paying attention more to like synchronicities. Like right. Or sometimes when you would ignore like numbers, you're going to be Googling them more and trying to get a real deep understanding of what the universe is trying to tell you. Okay. But it has you have to balance. Keep yourself balanced at all times, okay? We got the Knight of Pentacles. An offer. There's going to be an offer. Oh, okay. So for some of you guys, once this tower moment comes, and then you're going to feel more stable, more secure, if that makes sense, right? You just feel more stable. This is more stable energy. Some of you guys may want to move to offerings of Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio something. I don't know. This is stable energy for a lot of you guys. This is you coming out of this tire situation and then you come out as the Knight of Pentacles. You know, and after the Knight of Pentacles, we got the King of Pentacles. So, you know. So that's what I feel. I feel like some of you guys are going to come out of this energy. After this hit, you guys are not worried. Okay, you got so many, like, bigger things to worry about than to down something that doesn't serve you any longer. That stress reduction, that deep knowing, to be fair, just being so discerning and just <clears throat> using that wisdom, definitely. Some of you guys are moving into busy times. They change in the wind, higher power. All this right here. But some of you guys are going to be, like I said, some of you guys have a calling on your lives to be, um, some of you guys have a calling on your lives to be, 
some type of spiritual life coach, spiritual guru, something like that. That's coming. That's you. You're going to be an elder. You're going to be like something up there, whether you're a man or a woman. Okay? doesn't matter. I ain't going to resonate for everybody. Some of you guys are really stepping in energy and just taking yourselves more serious. And people are going to notice that. You know what I'm saying? When you have real self-confidence from inside, people can see it. You don't have to try to force people to see it. They're going to see it. <clears throat> it's four cups. So some of you guys, there could be an offer, okay, from a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo, right? And some of you guys are stuck between another option and what this Taurus has. Or this, this Taurus could be a small business owner. I'm sorry, yeah. All right, so this tourist could be a boss, some type of, you know, or somebody who works for somebody who's trying to offer you something. Or if somebody wants, like if you're um, an entrepreneur, like somebody may want to um, hire you for something, right? Like put you on, what is it called? When they pay you regularly for you to do something, somebody may want to do that. And some of you guys are in limbo about this decision because this nine of pentacles this is somebody who is financially independent on their own right they have their stable they're emotionally stable they're just peace it's like almost like the counterpart to the nine of cups you know how it's a guy in a nine of cups this is a lady in nine of pentacles <laughs> so yeah some of you this has to do with a, a romance situation maybe a friendship that may take off into um into a romantic you know situation some of you guys are refusing to receive some of you guys are it's like okay so for some of you guys y'all running from y'all like soul team your soul tribe or whatever like being anti-social like something like that, that may not resonate for everybody right It's oh, okay, okay. So for some of you guys, you guys need to talk to somebody, right? It's like if you keep it some things close to your chest, and you need to talk to you need to talk to somebody. And I'm not even just saying that this person has to give you advice, but you just need a listening ear right now for some of y'all. Some of you oh, there we go back to this situation again, knowing something needs to end, but you still like holding on to it for dear life. That's just four cups gives me like that type of stubborn energy too. You're stuck between two worlds, like you don't like this new world or this old way of being. Some oh okay, okay. So for some of you guys, this is not a this is not a tangible person. This is not a situation. This is you. This is you being stuck between an old version of you that does not suit you any longer, Virgo, and this new you, right? It just depends, right? Why? Some of you guys could be like questioning the universe question where was your higher power and like asking them why 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 can't anything just go smooth why does it always have to go through detours and this and that some of you guys are asking that it's nine of pentacles to get to that nine of pentacles you guys you have to own your divine power you have to face everything about yourself and accept everything about you i'm telling y'all like, go in the, in the mirror in the bathroom and um and confidently sit there and read your affirmations out loud every single day you have to accept every part of you some of you guys are being forced with this ascension to see certain parts of yourself to really go deep a lot of you guys have ran from certain things about yourself some truths or something so it's time to face yourself that is going to put you in this nine of pentacles energy a lot of you guys are wanting so desperately to have your own financial independence to have your independence in general like you know yep two of cups 
For some of you guys, there's a situation that's either here already, getting ready to be rekindled. But there's an opportunity for some of you guys to be in some type of partnership. Like, for some of you guys, like, after you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy, you're feeling more confident, you know, when you get here. Then the universe may give you this. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or a fire sign. This relationship will be... Okay, so let's just say this is a relationship coming in. We ain't got to do the love spread after this. But let's just say this is a relationship coming in for some of you guys. This is going to be different. This is going to be different, okay? This is not going to be like the rest of your relationships. And, I, and, 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 and it's going to be something where you're in this partnership, you're not going to be able to be like, go back to the old you. That's not going to make sense for everybody. Some of you guys with this two of cups, this is a situation where this is not a new person. Oh, okay. Okay, so for some of you guys, um, this is, there needs to be a cleanup in the way you operate in relationships, romantic relationships. I think some of you guys like want an unconventional relationship, but you're not knowing how to put that in words to somebody. That may only resonate for one or two people. It has been a situation that some of you guys are in or have been in where that this relationship, this marriage, this cohabitation, whatever it is, is unconventional. And they're saying it's time to clean this shit up. <laughs> it's time to clean it up. Three of Wands. Some of you guys want to move forward with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or a Fire Sign. Some of you guys are choosing yourselves over relationships and partnerships and that type of shit. Like, you guys are wanting to kind of work within yourself. Some of you guys, you have three people coming in. They may offer you um, some type of advice, some type of guidance. You guys be open, okay? They may not be like the type of person that you normally used to, but just be open, okay? This person could send you a message through social media, through social media, I'm pretty sure for a lot of you guys, or even an email, okay? This is increased support sent by the divine. Virgo. Some of you women are doing yoni stings or yoni, yoni, um, what do you call it? yoni stings and then the one with the pearl. But some of you guys are doing that or needing to do that. This has to do with your sacral, your sacral chakra, okay? It's like cleaning all, you know, just things that need to come out your body spiritually and physically. You get it? This is you. Some of y'all are definitely some of you guys. This is why you're doing this. That's why you're needing to do this if you don't know that you need to do this. Because you're just focusing on yourself. Some of you guys, I'm telling you, want to turn down a love situation where you know it could work. But you're turning it down and you're focusing on you. Some of you guys, you want to move forward in the future with this two of you, you like choosing. So there's two, there's one that, um, that want to and that don't want to a relationship or either way, you know, however it resonates for you. Let me see a message in a bottle. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to get a lot of communication when I say communication for some of you guys this is not just people I'm talking about like spiritually like energy like around you ancestors or like the spirit guide okay. pay attention pay attention back up 
All right, so that's the end of that portion. We'll get into your love. Okay, we're gonna use them. That's a lot of cards. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. We have soulmates. Stay optimistic about your love life. Flirt. Unrequited love. This could be the one. Codependency and make the effort. Y'all got a lot going on. Okay, but this is gonna some some of this. <clears throat> I'm tell you with this. The way I usually feel when I do my love spread is that there's two different situations. I always feel it more so in um, oh god, yeah. All right. Um, okay, so some of you guys are trying to manifest a soulmate, uh, someone you know or someone you don't know. It just depends, right? Some of you guys are feeling like this is not coming fast enough. That's because you guys still have work to do. You've got to go through an essential. So just be patient, okay? A lot of love is being halted right now. New love from coming in. So just be patient, Virgo. Stay optimistic about your love. Like positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay? If you're trying to manifest, be positive. Stay as right to stay in a positive mindset, okay? Some of you guys need to flirt more. Some of you guys have really just been not being true to yourselves for some of you guys. Like, some of you guys are big flirts, but you've kind of been holding back. <clears throat> because, you know, of past situations for you. We got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry. So some, with somebody in your life that you know, there's unrequited love. Either you want that person more or vice versa, you know. With this soulmate, this soulmate card and this card over here. Some of you guys already know who your soulmate is. Some of you guys already, excuse me, some of you guys, let me see, know your soulmate. You're not sure. Like it's still like an uncertainty, like it's an unsure type of energy. I feel. Some of you guys were in codependent relationships in your past or your present, or it just depends. I think she's gonna affect me more many ways. So I think for some of you guys, knowing that some of you guys could be codependent, right? It kind of messes you up with your self-esteem with trying to meet new people, if that makes sense. Because you're like scared to go back to the old you or something like that for some of you guys. That's not going to resonate for everybody. Make the effort. Great love is worth wait. I'm sorry, taking the steps you're guided to take. So some of you guys just need to really like step into this energy of flirting more, loosen it up some. Maybe take some sexy pictures and send them to somebody, whether you're a man or a woman. I'm just saying, if you have somebody on your mind. 
loosen up, lighten up, okay, Virgo? That's going to really help, okay? And you ushering in and trying to manifest the real love is by loosening up. Um, yeah, loosening up, okay? And watch this whole ring. I hope you guys watch this whole ring, okay? I love you guys. Take care. Peace.